a new bride, had a beautiful wedding, uh, a beautiful marriage, in fact. Look at that picture, just the image of joy. And there's the truck we just got hitched. Um, sadly, the wedding and the marriage uh, lasted only seven days because tragedy struck on the eighth day. Buck and Tasha Story were driving back from their honeymoon to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Tasha got sleepy and snuggled up in a blanket in the passenger seat. Uh, the heater wasn't working in the car, so she tried to stay warm, but the next thing she knew, she was being airlifted to a hospital. Her groom and her soulmate, who had been in the driver's seat, was gone. Tasha's leg had to be amputated. And I now want to bring in CNN.com writer, producer Daphne Sashin, who wrote this very emotional piece uh, on CNN.com. And Tasha's going to join us in just a moment to talk about what she's gone through. First, uh, Daphne, the, the, the story is, first of all, just a remarkable read. Total strangers stopped when they saw this accident, and they all immediately um, got right down to business. Can you take it from there? Yes, uh, four people stopped to help Tasha. They all saw the car flip in front of them. And it was two women and two gentlemen. They pulled over, they went to the car, they heard Tasha crying for help. Uh, one gentleman was able to get her out of the car. Um, the others put blankets on her to keep her from going into shock. They stayed, they held her hand and prayed with her and comforted her um, in the moments before the emergency personnel arrived. And then uh, the two women found Tasha and Buck's cell phones and were calling everyone they could until they reached Tasha's mom. And then they also uh, were walking along the highway picking up all of the belongings that were strewn along the road. Um, uh, souvenir photos from their honeymoon, uh, a wedding guest book, and they all knew that this couple had just been married, and I think that made it so um, heartbreaking for everybody involved. And they've stayed all in touch with Tasha and her family. I think they all really felt that there was something that brought them there to help her that day, some greater purpose. It's hard seeing those um, photographs of of this SUV with the writing on it just hitched and then seeing the uh, the wreck of that same SUV and if you look at you can still see some of that um, that writing on the on the window of the of the SUV. Uh, Daphne thank you for that I appreciate your reporting and like I said on CNN.com that is a remarkable read and a lot of people are clicking on this right now. Um, I want to bring in now Tasha Story who's joining us now, uh, live by telephone right now. Tasha thank you very much for being a part of our um, of our Thanksgiving holiday uh, program, first and foremost, I know you spent the better part of a month in the hospital. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing really good now. I'm here at Health South, um, back home in Panama City, and I'm doing well. And um, went to therapy today and rocked that. And I'm just feeling a lot better being back home and being around um, my family, friends, and. Uh, church friends as well. And I know that in addition to the loss of your leg, you also had some serious uh, internal injuries as well. Are you um, are you recovering from that? Um, actually, I am. Um, it's actually healing very well. Um, the bottom is still not where they want it to be. Um, they're still looking at the fascia, but um, the top is just shrinking um, dramatically small, and it's looking very good, and it's the good pink color and red colors they want. So um, my mom and grandmother and family, we're, we're excited, you know, for the healing of that. I'm looking at your, um, your pictures from your wedding night, bride, groom. You just look so incredibly happy. And it's hard to believe you can even talk today. This is all so raw and so recent. Um, you must have a remarkable support system. I do. Um, I have, you know, not just my faith and, you know, God being a big part of my life, but my mom and my grandmother being there when times got tough and I needed to cry. And my mom just holding my face and saying, it's going to be okay, baby. You're going to do fine. And it's okay to cry. 